ET Now's SME caravan is now going to make its way to Hyderabad to explore a company that has its major focus on research and development. This multi-dimensional biotechnology firm is working hard to offer affordable yet safe healthcare solutions. ET Now's SME caravan traveled to the enterprising city of Hyderabad to discover the entrepreneurial journey of a scientist called Dr. Krishna M. Ella. Having studied and worked in the U.S. for a while, Dr. Ella chose to return home and laid the foundation of Bharat Biotech. My wife always wants to get back to India. That's one. And uh, my mother always used to tell only one thing. You have a nine inches stomach. How much of money you make in the U.S.? You can't eat more than nine inches stomach. Come back to India. I'll feed you. You will not be hungry for a day or so. And you do whatever you like. I think the two ladies really inspired me and inspired in a way to take a risk. Dr. Krishna Ella established Bharat Biotech in 1996 with a vision to offer affordable, safe and effective healthcare solutions. Dr. Ella soon discovered that India desperately needs serious focus on research and development to compete with the rest of the world. And that was an opportunity he decided to explore. We saw that there's a gap in this country. Uh, one was the hepatitis B vaccine, which is sold by GSK and the other companies at the 800 to 900 rupees per dose. Okay? We said uh, we should do something in a new generation of vaccines in the country. There's a lot of investment or uh, gone into developing a core R&D in Bharat Biotech. Where we do everything, we're not any more dependent on academic institutions for transferring technology. Every work from bioinformatics to uh, to product development at the pilot scale, to manufacturing scale-up, is done within the company. Today, Bharat Biotech is a multi-dimensional biotech company with 50 global patents to its credit. It has more than 700 highly qualified professionals who work round the clock to provide cure for neglected regional diseases. With its continuous hard work, the company has achieved a turnover of over 260 crore rupees last year. Every problem we see in this country, we don't look at statistically, but we look at it how we solve the problem. Chicken bunya, a good example. Okay, there was no much demand for the vaccine. But we developed when 2006 was the epidemic was there, we were the first one to isolate the virus. And that isolate the virus we sequenced. And we were the first one to tell the government of India. The strain that has attacked in India is an African strain, not the Asian strain. Tell us about your vaccines and what was the idea behind developing these? I look at all the product portfolio. I look at only one direction. I don't look at what UNICEF wants it, what world wants it. I'll never look at it. I look at it whether these countries, people can be saved with certain diseases. A good example, hepatitis B was a cost not affordable to the middle and lower middle people. Today, now I have to be 10 rupees a dose the country government. What would you say is the unique selling point of Bharat Biotech? How are you different from the others? I think our USP of the company is we are so intense in uh, R&D. We are so intense. The second is the heavy manufacturing. Okay. After manufacturing, the total distribution. Okay. And then reach into the consumers at affordable price. So we're totally integrated as a company now, from R&D &E to the market. Tell us a little bit about the infrastructure facilities that you've created here in Hyderabad. We have all the equipments. Trust me, whatever multinational company has got, all the infrastructure, all the equipments are in this company. Nothing less than that. In the next couple of years, where do you want to take Bharat Biotech? We are having a manufacturing plant. How do we become a multinational? This is again, we need a government of India help. First of all, they have a bilateral program with each country. They give some free money to Myanmar, maybe Sri Lanka, all those places. Can help industry, Indian industry to sell our product there better. If the Indian government helps us, like us, people uh, like us, we can be truly down Indian multinational. With an intent to combat region-specific and neglected diseases, Bharat Biotech's R&D team continues to push the boundaries of innovation.
Dr. Krishna M. Ella's vision is helping put the spotlight on India's biotechnology prowess and this is just the beginning. Bharat Biotech, my first advice to you would be to explore active monetization of all the intellectual property in the company. For a small company, it is not financially feasible to undertake all aspects of drug discovery in-house. The second suggestion would be to make the business model more relevant in the global ecosystem of drug discovery as this industry is still very underdeveloped in the Indian market.